Hey guys, welcome back to Philly Man Plays. Here we are back on Dark once again. And we just, on the last episode, we got to the guy who was apparently the one who turned us into a vampire, uh, drank his blood, and apparently we felt no different, apart from refreshed as a vampire would, drinking blood. But apart from that, there was no change. And it turns out that we discovered he wasn't actually our creator. So we're still on the hunt for our creator. So without further ado, let's continue. Ah, back at the club. All these uh, cool, talkative people. I tried talking to someone in one of the last episodes, and all she said was "hi," <laughs> and then I just stood there like a fool. Pretty, pretty. Oh, it still does the pretty, pretty. So creepy, man. So creepy. Right, where have I? Where have I got ahead to? Normally, it has my oh, my little symbols out here. What's, what's this? Alright, that looks very uh, Fallout-esque, doesn't it? You know, with the bombshell sort of pinups. I saw uh, a bunch of those bombshell pinups, but they were DC ones. They looked pretty awesome. They were pretty cool. Eric, good to see you. How does it feel to be a full vampire? Blooming's blood didn't cure me. It didn't? What makes you think that? The unbearable pain was a pretty good sign. Unbearable pain? That's odd. It should have worked, Eric. I know this doesn't help you, but it should have worked. Maybe there's another way. Even if it's not one I like, talk to Tom. He'll tell you everything he knows about Vlad. Vlad. <laughs> okay. Um, that isn't one of the most generic vampire names I've ever heard. Vlad. Let's, uh, let's go. Let's go find Vlad. I've come to drink your blood, Vlad. That's terrible. I'm sorry. This is, uh, I do like the neon-esque sort of look of this place though. It's always the same song playing though. Vampires must love this song. Oh, man. Maybe the man's only made one song. Hey man, you did it! <laughs> Shit! You must be some badass! Rose sent me. Blooming didn't work. Blooming didn't... Whoa, man, that's rad! <laughs> know what that means? Normally, Blooming's blood should have done the job, easy. But man, you the shit. You gotta be. Otherwise, you want to survive the whole thing. It was as if you drank April's blood. Oh, that is so wild. I mean, for you, it might not be so great, right? But it means that you are real powerful, dude. I know why Rose sent you to me. There's other vampires in the city which could do the trick for you, but I bet Rose has one specific dude in mind. His name is Vlad. Asshole's real name definitely isn't Vlad, but that's what he wants to be called. Because of Vlad the Impaler, dig? Whatever. Vlad owns the Geoforge Company. Maybe you heard of them? They got this huge tower here in town, with artificial parks they make available to visitors. Vlad actually lives in a penthouse at the top of the building. Vlad. Alright, I'll have a look around there. Keep your eyes open, man. <laughs> and your fangs sharp. Vlad's a whole different game than Blooming, and so are his guards. Uh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, let's about our visions we keep having of that angel. I keep having odd visions of an angel. Can you help me there? Angel? Don't ask me, man. No idea. Until you're a full vampire, it could be that you're hallucinating. Or maybe your subconscious is trying to tell you something. Or you've developed some wicked new vampire power! Dude! <laughs> Let's ask more about Vlad. What do you remember about Vlad? <laughs> the guy's a snob and thinks he's all that, man. Okay, maybe he does have this, like, huge company and he's an old and powerful vampire, but still. <laughs> Whatever. You ought to talk to April. I think she used to work there back when she was still a human. Okay, ghosts. A few strange things happened in the museum. Do ghosts really exist? I wouldn't call them ghosts. Fact is, we vampires seem to generate or attract something like supernatural phenomena. Nothing you can really influence, it's just kind of there. Maybe it's Mother Nature saying, Hey, what kind of crazy shit are you anyway? Alright, Tom's books. Yeah, let's, let's ask him about Tom's books. I have your books. 
<laughs> cool, man. Thanks. Uh, if I find something interesting, I'll let you know. See you later. Yeah, later, man. I did not tweak that they were his books. <laughs> not at all, not at all. Right, okay, let's uh, head over to the sanctuary. Then we get up here by this way, don't we? It's music there. Can I dance with anyone? Can I just... No, apparently they're all there. Oh, wow, he is. He lucked out. Damn, well, <laughs> or she's just absolutely wasted. She looks proper trolley. She's got no idea what he looks like. Or he's just whispered in her ear. Uh, like millions and millions of dollars or something. Wealthy. Well played, buddy. Do your thing, homie. Oh, back to the DJ. Eric. Yeah, right on. <laughs> Sorry, the, the boogies are awesome. You gotta love the dances. The dance moves are pretty cool. Tell me about Geoforge. Ask my sister. She worked there once. How's it going? All right, but I'm busy. I'm mixing right now, you know. See you later. Yeah, whatever. Oh, wow. She clearly don't like me. So why would it tell me to talk to her if she's just gonna go ask my sister? She worked there once. I'm really busy, you know, spinning records and all. Can I talk to him? Is something I can help you with? Oh, wow. Your attitude is welcome, welcome. Not really. No need to be a douche. Do you talk? No? You look huge, though. Look at his arms. Tricep dips for the win. Well played, player. Oh, back to this woman. And have you talked to Tom? Yes, I did. So, Vlad. Uh, yeah. I'm afraid it's the only chance you have left. What should I know about Geoforge? The corporation has a huge high-rise building here in town. One with artificial parks on several floors. To be honest, you can hardly go ten steps out there without tripping over a Geoforge billboard. But I'm sure you'll be interested to know that the guards there mainly use light automatic weapons. So this won't be a cakewalk. Tell me about Vlad. He is an old and very powerful vampire, and he's earned billions with his company. He also tends to be a little bit paranoid, so you can count on tons of security guards. Outside of that, uh, somebody once told me that he likes to hunt, but I haven't had the opportunity to talk to him yet. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'm on it. Excellent, Eric. I'll provide radio support again. Best of luck. I headed over to the Geoforge Tower. During the day, it offered countless visitors entertainment on a variety of floors laid out as parks. I came for the blood. Rose had put me on to Vlad. He not only owned the tower, he also lived there. His penthouse was at the top of the building. I wondered what had become of me. A beast that killed for its own survival still in search of life-saving blood. But the creatures in the museum had been a clear sign that there was no alternative. A distracted guard gave me access. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to thank him. The guard slid to the floor. He probably wouldn't be the only victim, but I had no choice. I needed Vlad's blood. Crazy. Rose, I'm in. Good. Now, if possible, try not to attract any attention until you've neutralized the security center. Don't forget the transmitter I gave you for that. Contact me as soon as you get there. Got it. See you later. You do not let civilians spot you. They could give away your position to the guards. No shit, Sherlock. You may be a vampire, but you're also a man, so you cannot allow yourself to harm unarmed bystanders. Okay. Oh yeah, that's that button that does that. Oh, that's how I lock on. I remember now. Oh yeah, right bumper does my little teleporty thing. Oh wow, there's a dude right over there. Let's try and head backwards. She did say, don't try and alert anyone, didn't she? Up until I get to the, uh, the comms tower. Can I 
I'll try and drink him. I hope he's coming back. Whoa! As he walks away, I think we're going to try and feed on this guy. Doesn't seem to have anyone too close, I don't think. So we might be able to get away with it. Only time will tell, friends. Stay tuned for the next exciting episode of... I forgot my guy's name. Dark Drinks Blood. There we go. I can't believe I forgot the name already. That's that's really bad. So it's hold the feed. Oh, can we do it. Can we do it. Yeah, we did it. There we go. All right, let's hide him. Keep him hidden for the moment. So is there a way, there must be a way around this end that I can... ...move to. Let's uh, push things forward. No, I don't want a shadow kill him. Ah, oh, balls. Oh wait! No, it won't let me go over there. Clearly not. I'll wait till he's gone past. Might be able to sneak. Oh no, there's a guy over there. No, I'll have to go... Uh, I'll have to try and go down the stairs. How the hell am I going to go down the stairs? Yeah, see? Oh. That's him. He's the one looking. So I'll have to... Hmm. Is he leaning on something? Or pretending to? Maybe I can go back around behind him. Let's try that. That might work. It might work. Let's try that one. We'll go... Oh, not this way. Let's play slowly, slowly, safely, catchy, monkey, slow. Yeah, something like that. Let's... Turn around. Oh, <laughs> it works. What you got to do is ask them nicely. right there but interesting he doesn't he doesn't see me if I oh okay so he's there as well it's the only problem is when my teleport thing makes noise uh, upon landing or upon entering rather if I teleport do that weird misty This is going to be tough. I can get to him, but I'm pretty sure he can see that guy there. I'm pretty sure he can see him. So let's... Oh, we'll wait until he turns his back and then we'll go. See what happens. Risk it. We're going to risk it. Turn around, buddy. Turn around. And it works. There we go. Anyone near him? Not that I can see. Him. Oh, we get spotted. I don't think we did. I don't think we did. Somebody was up there though. Oh, him. Wow. Okay, so he's alright. He's hidden. Yeah, no, he's got someone too close. Nope. 
I don't really want to be uh, <laughs> standing out there just as he turns around. Might be able to get him. Oh, alarm. Oh, down. Um, don't really want to leave this guy here. If you could turn around now, mate, that'd be great. Uh oh. <laughs> that was uh, that was too close. We're gonna try and drag him back into the darkness. Stay in the darkness, Jackie. Oh, there we go. So we might as well. We've got one, two, three. I might as well try and walk back and try and get them out. Because if I can get them out, I can feed. We need reinforcements. Oh, crap. I last saw them over there. Come on, Andy. Okay, we got away, I think. Let's let the, uh... I kind of like that, though. If it's in the immediate area, it seems to set them off. Oh, no. Oh, no, I spoke way too soon. Over here! He's here! Oh, no, 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 stop! Stop! Ah, oh, balls died. <laughs> <laughs> Rose, I'm in. Good. Now, if Pop, don't forget the trans. Got it. See you later. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, and on and on we'll go. find you and finish you off oh oh I might have got it <laughs> so I was being a bit silent there guys I was uh I was concentrating you know how it is you know how it is however I get into a panicky situation I start to focus him it's quite crazy because sometimes it's uh, they, they, they throw a lot at you so you've got to be very careful you've got to be very careful there's two over there I might be able to uh... oh wow wait those two are quite far up Quit playing games and come out. Oh, I'm gonna go for it, gonna go for it. 
I might be able to get it. Okay, they're not coming down here. going for a minute <laughs> like walking left to right but looking the other direction I was like that's quite a clever tactic I don't think I'm going to get him before he uh, gets all the way up there maybe I will and drag him away without being spotted Let's see if I can actually do that drag him down the stairs a little bit there we go that'll do that'll do <laughs> see sometimes when it's some sort of stealthy games I'm not too bad oh great I can't let him see me or whatever let's save it there Cancel that. So I wonder how am I going to do all of this without being spotted? Yeah. Yeah, I thought he would. So all I have to do is get through there, but it won't bring up the. Uh... What the hell? Oh no 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 no! It's worth a try! Bluffed it! <laughs> try and bring him back. Do they follow you through? Oh no they don't, okay. Alright they just... There's a couple here. Man, I bet someone is playing around with the cables again. Turn around. Thanks. Don't move. Hey, who's there? Ooh. Hey, you sick bastard. Oh. oh, okay. Continue. Wait. Okay, we're back here. So I wonder how I'm supposed to get through. Is there another way through over the other side? I can't tell if that door's open or not. Let's go and have a look. There's no one here. I don't think. No. Nope. Oh, there's a PDA here, though. PDA! Hooray! PDAs. Oh, email, sorry. Okay. Ian 
interesting. No, I can't go. Okay. So we literally do have to go through that other way. I just, I've got no actual idea how we're going to get rid of the two of them. turns his back. They're both at an angle where they can see one another. And I can't... Oh, I can't... How do I... Oh, wait, hold on. I've got... I've got abilities. Yeah, Shadow Leap. Increases the distance you can cross with the Shadow... Oh, yes. Oh, I've got six. I didn't even realise. Reduces the cooldown. What else do we need, actually? Reduces the noise caused by feeding... Yeah, so we want that. And then that one's every time you're feeding an enemy. Yes! That is awesome. And we can go further now. So. Yes. Oh! <laughs> yes. That is awesome. That is awesome. We should pump a magazine into this goddamn shouldn't pop a magazine in anyone. Man down! Man down! No, 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 no. How did you... Oh, you He's discovered here. my corpse. I see him! I'll tear your guts out. Hey, oh, hey, hey, you! Halt! Hey, you! Halt! I'll no, I'm okay. Out of there. Where are you? How many left? Okay, there's only two left. Um... Heal. Actually, I don't really need to heal. I'm alright now all of a sudden. Which is good. Yes. I like that though, it significantly cuts down the sound as well. I kind of wish that there was like a, a radius that would show you the the distance, well I suppose the distance of the noise. So you would you would know whether people were gonna be walking in the Rose, range. I'm in the security center and the transmitter is attached to the server. Very good. Transmitter attached to the Wait. server. Yes, I have got a connection. Let there be light and not anymore. Okay, the security system is down, but I wasn't able to override the local comms network. That means that guards in close proximity can still communicate. But I now have access to the elevator. Head on over there. Good job. Right, guys, we're going to leave that there and we'll continue on. The next episode straight from here. So stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Philly Man Plays Dark. This is actually really good fun. I'm really enjoying this. I'm not very good and I apologize that I'm not very good. But uh, <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. Anyway guys, take it easy. Have a good day. And I look forward to seeing all of you wonderful people in the next video. Take care guys. Philly Man out. It's Philly Man. It's Philly Man.